Hey guys, welcome back. So this week we want to get into more of the windows. We're going to have a whole week of rain coming up. So it'd be good just to get a few more windows on and stop some more water getting in. Uh, if I got the time, I'm going to get into just finishing framing out the doors. They were all oval shaped. Um, now we've cut them out to be square. So we're going to get into just boxing that bit that we cut out, just boxing it in and uh, welding some 50 mil strips on. So uh, let's get into doing some windows first up. Well, that's got that window all done. Now we've got uh, one, two, three, four, six more to go. Since we've got another window done, I'm gonna make some progress on some other parts of the boat. So we did cut this arch out not long ago. Um, and we don't have any door framings um, above here now. So I need to basically extend this 50 mil by a three mil bar up so far. I want the door frames to be 184 centimeters. Um, so I may have to duck, but most people don't. Uh, so we'll just extend that, you know, 50 mil uh, square up the top, put a bar across the top and do the same. Got this door, I've got the ensuite door. And we need to do the entry into the forward head. So you can see that the, I haven't done this, the previous owner did it. Um, there was the arch right in the center here um, and they've cut that panel out and moved it over there i'm happy with the position of that door uh, it will work well with the setup that i want for the boat however we're going to put a piece in the top uh, i'm going to square that up make sure it's done correctly i haven't measured it make sure that that's all right so we'll have a crack at getting some of these doors done
before I go ahead and weld this brace in, that we're going to put up the top, um, we're going to get rid of this weld that's gone across here. Uh, so that was just from the, the combing of the original door. Uh, if I leave this here, I won't be able to paint it. Uh, it's got lots of sharp edges, so it needs to be ground out. If I were to weld this bar in there, it'd just be um, in the way and it'd make this harder to grind. So we'll get to this first, bit of grinding, and we'll weld that bar in. Got that piece all welded in. So, unfortunately, it's a bit flimsy because it's only three mil thick. Um, if that was a bit thicker um, and it was stronger, we might be able to leave it how it is and not weld in this piece here. But because it's a bit flimsy, we're going to need to reinforce this uh, the bow out of it. So I'm going to have to cut out a piece to go inside this um, radius here, and then we'll um, we'll weld that in and and brace this top part of the door frame uh, back onto that place piece we're going to put back in here. At the same time I might have to uh, weld this panel as well. I've just dressed the weld, the, the rust back. This has been welded from the outside but it hasn't been welded from the inside yet. So while we've got the welder here and we're in this position we'll go around and uh, finish welding this plate. So I've just finished uh, playing around with this door. It took a lot longer than I was hoping, but it's all done. So I've got it all boxed out with new steel. It's all square. Take a step back. I had to add in a piece here. I originally was going to just leave that there because once all the insulation, it's been painted and all the foam and everything goes on and you've got wood panelling on inside you're not going to see that there's a you know a void in there however this three mil was not strong enough um, and it would wobble we, we needed a weld in the middle here so I've got a weld up here one in the middle and then another one welds in the corner and then yeah I put a piece of six mil in here and just sort of uh, shaped it and welded it in that piece up there was where the sh original shore power was put and it's the wrong spot and it was poorly done. So I welded a piece in there about a year ago, but I never welded the inside. It was only ever welded from the outside. So I, I welded all the way around that as well. So that is all done. Uh, yeah, filler piece in there and boxed up here. We did get a few more windows in, but yeah, um, that's one door done. I'm going to leave the other two doors for another day. All right, with this build, we did mention earlier on in the series that we're going to go electric motor on this boat. Uh, we did go and get quotes for uh, getting a diesel in here. We were looking at a brand new Yamaha. Um, you know, it was going to be about $21,000 for the engine. Uh, we still had to get diesel tanks, a 
fuel polishes, uh, all the lines, all that sort of stuff. Um, and all up, we were looking at, it was gonna be about a 30 to $35,000 installation. Um, but you got a reliable brand new Yamaha engine. Uh, we could go second hand, but you could buy a second hand diesel, you know, for a few thousand bucks. You then have to spend six thousand uh, dollars getting it restored, um, all refurbished, and and you know get a warranty on it. Um, and then you've still got to get your fuel tanks and all that. So you're still up around fifteen to twenty thousand dollars even getting a second hand one. Um, so we were looking at doing the electrical option. Um, there's a lot of cheaper options out now. Uh, a lot of uh, new electric motors have come into the market. It's, it's now, you've got a choice of 30 different companies to go through. Uh, there are still some really big name brand ones which are up around the 20 to 30,000 anyway. Uh, but there are also cheaper options where you can get in the whole um, batteries and electric motor for under $10,000. Uh, unfortunately, we won't go under 10,000 um, just because of the size of this boat. We need a, a big electric motor to push this thing. Um, so we are looking at a few different options. We've got one that's um, the Thunderstruck motor. Um, they've got a 25 kilowatt motor. Uh, it's it's a good option. Uh, they, and they've got all the, the, the whole kit to go with the, the electric um, motor controller, um, the variable speed drive, uh, throttles. We've got battery management systems, you can get the whole kit. Uh, the next option would be Golden Motor. Uh, they're a very cheap option. Uh, the 20 kilowatt motors are only about 1800 US dollars. Uh, so that's, that's quite cheap. Um, and the next one I, I've just stumbled across and I'm doing a bit of research on is called a sword fin motor. It's a UK built motor. It's, um, it's quite larger than the rest. Uh, that's a 25 kilowatt motor. The option we're looking at doing is we're going to be using two electric motors simultaneously. Uh, when you look at all the, the power options, the electrical drain curve, as in the, the performance between um, amps versus torque, um, that, that power curve is actually more efficient um, when you run the two electric motors than you would just running one uh, at a higher amp draw. Um, so it would actually be more battery efficient to run two electric motors than it would be for one. And the other reason why we would uh, prefer to do that, because if anything happened to one electric motor, we could still use the other and still limp back to shore if we needed to. Uh, so you got a bit of redundancy built in by using two electric motors. Uh, so it does up the cost a fair bit because you then need two controllers, um, two throttles if, if you're going to wire them up that way. Um, two battery management systems sort of like it, it starts getting a little bit more complicated um, but the safety factor is a lot better um, and it's more efficient. And this is the area I'm looking at putting the electric motors. So you can see over the top there we've got the stern tube going out the back. Stern tube opens up there where this hose is coming through which I use to siphon out all the water until I can stop being lazy and put the bilge pump in here. Um, got the bearing for the prop shaft comes through here and this bilge area which we've recently done this is where the um, diesel engine would originally go um, I actually toured a couple of months ago um, a John Pugh Fairwind 46 uh, which was in Western Australia uh, I went and had a look at his boat and yeah his is set up to have his diesel engine there you can see above the prop shaft there, engine mounts for where a generator would go. His boat had the generator here on top of this bilge here. Um, but this one looks like it was gonna be put there. So uh, what I need to do is measure up this area, see what how much room I have to work with, because um, uh, the sword fin uh, motors are quite large and I need a big area. Uh, so I need to work out if it will fit in here and with the setup that they recommend uh, because there's a couple of options. You can have the um, electric motors set up in like a V drive, so two of them side by side, one here and the other one next to it and belts go down in a V. Or you can have them back to back and uh, have two pulleys going straight down to the shaft. Um, <coughs> so. 
as you can see that shaft would be quite low down there um, and this is already quite well welded in and it's really a uh, good build um, so I could make a, a plate up here which bolts down onto this little um, area that's already been made and the electric motors just sit and bolt down onto here obviously with some resilient mounts to take out vibration but yeah, that, that could be a good little setup to to mount the electric motors in but we might not have a room for two big electric motors side by side so we may have to put one in front of the other and have both belts going down on separate pulleys to the to the prop shaft um, but like the golden motors are, are much smaller so we might get away with uh, building a plate that sits on 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 the surface here and then as a 90 degree plate which both, has both electric motors set up um, and then you, you can have your v-drive go down to your prop shaft so we're going to do some measuring and see if it's all going to fit and which option we can go down well we managed to get that door all completed I, it took a lot longer than i was hoping we had to make that infill panel for that in, with that curved radius uh, that, that was all right we got it done uh, we then welded that whole door frame uh, because we had the welder there we had that infill panel that i put in to replace the old shore power connection box um, and i only welded the outside i hadn't gone in into the boat and welded the inside so while we we're there we got that done too got one window all completely welded that's like 30 studs i don't know i haven't counted how many is on each particular window um, so that was a lot of studs done um, so we're getting more progress on the windows and i really needed to plan that electric motor setup because you know that's going to take a lot of time to to prep and plan need to make a decision on which motor i've got so i need to know how much room i had to put in there uh, see which motor i can actually fit uh, so we, we made a bit of progress today uh, which is good um, but that's all we got for time for today uh, i'd like to give a big thank you to everyone who subscribed we made that 1000 subscribers it's um really heartwarming to know that everyone's interested and um, willing to to support us so that's great um the bad news is we probably will end up putting ad ads in we're only ever going to put like one ad in I don't, I don't care how long the videos go we don't want to make a million bucks um my whole plan with this was basically to get enough um revenue uh, through this uh, documentary that we're doing to basically cover the storage fees of having the boat here you know I I'm paying to build the boat it's going to cost me a lot of money that's cool happy to commit to that just be nice to know that you know um, my fees to actually store the boat here um, uh, are covered and that was my original plan you know so we're not looking for a million bucks um, we're, we're looking for maybe a thousand uh, and that's it so yeah we don't want to put uh, we don't want to like bombard everyone with ads but thank you for everyone who's um been supporting us that's really great um so yeah continue watching um thanks for everyone who subscribed um we're gonna keep making video footage and um hopefully everyone's enjoying it um we like everyone's comments best one last week was um the one who loved my haircut i know i love my haircut too it's great um but that gave me a bit of a laugh so thanks for that um, we'll see everyone next week. Uh, we'll get some more progress done. I want to finish the rest of the doors off and get some more windows. We're going to have a lot of rain um, over the next week, uh, so we'll work with that. Um, so thanks, guys, and um, see you all next week.